Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that I have switched over to natural deodorant. And as you read by the title, this is going to be all about how I detox my armpits. One video that I saw was talking about how you can't really detox your armpits. If you look up armpit detox, you're going to find videos of people putting like the Aztec clay mask. And I'll show you guys how I do that process. In that particular video that I saw, they were saying there's no way to really draw out all the toxins. You're basically just doing a mask like you would do the mask on your face. So it's not really a detox. So I don't really wanna call it that, but that is just the general term. So that's what I'm gonna call it. And the process is helpful when switching to natural deodorant. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all my process. It is August 13th, it's my dad's birthday. Shout out to him. But yes, it's August 13th and the month of July is my month, was my month to switch over to the natural deodorant because I know I wanted to do this video. I also posted a video of like after I ran with my sister, we were working out running outside and everything i came back in i had her smell my armpit still didn't smell like anything like a uh, must i should say it's literally smelled like this deodorant that i use now and that is the dove zero percent aluminum pomegranate and lemon verbena scent and this is so good this part is clear it goes on clear it's a very nice deodorant and the scent is amazing. Before I started detoxing my armpits, I was using this Dove Original Clean. And you know, it's just a regular Dove deodorant. I like it, but I wanted something safer. So believe what you believe, but I always like the idea of going the natural route with things. So that's why I decided to do this. The first time that I tried to switch to natural deodorants, it was using uh, this brand right here. I have it pop up and honestly it did not work for me like it was okay when I first started out but I was just finding that it didn't work too well I would sweat obviously but I would still like I needed a little more like I said the month of July is the month that I was doing this detox routine and basically every single week I would put this mask on at least three times a week now you can do it less if you don't sweat as much I would say on a scale of like one to ten I perspire, I would say maybe like a five, I would say maybe even a four and a half. Cause when I sweat, I sweat, but I don't really like sweat so much. Like I have to be really working hard, hard, hard to sweat through clothes and things like that. So that gives you a little background on that. And I would suggest doing the mask a little more often if you do have problems, you know, perspiring a whole lot. I also suggest even switching to like men's deodorant if it's super, super strong. Um, I don't even know about going the natural route for everyone. I don't even suggest it for everyone. Do whatever works for you at the end of the day. But yes, I would do that mask at least three times a week. And I'm not gonna hold with y'all, okay? I didn't do it like strict three times a week. Like I said, I don't even sweat that much. So I was good doing it like even once a week if I could. So there's four weeks in a month, did it for all those four weeks, the full month. And after like the second week, I saw a difference. I saw a difference not only with the smell of my sweat, but just how much I was sweating, even with the natural deodorant. Now I also use a glycolic toner the, from the Ordinary brand. I use that on my face. And from some of the digging that I did, I found that it's good to use like a toner, a glycolic acid toner or salicylic acid toner on your armpits. And I just wipe, I just graze it over, okay? I don't just rub it on. But when I'm doing, you know, my nighttime routine, I'll just graze it over and that has helped with odor as well. I don't have to do that anymore anytime before I put on the natural deodorant. So that's not something that you have to continuously do. But like I said, if you perspire a little more, that's something that can also help with odor when it comes to that. But yes, I'm going to move on into making the detox mask. I hope you all enjoy. All right, so moving on into the kitchen, we have our Indian healing clay. And y'all already know you gotta use a plastic spoon and a plastic bowl. Do not use metal with this mask you're gonna take some apple cider vinegar as well now i'm just eyeballing this since i've done this mixture so many times but if you want to follow a strict recipe then you could do one tablespoon of the clay one teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar you can put in essential oils i saw a few people doing that but i personally didn't do that 
and maybe like two or three drops of that essential oil it's optional to add water if you want that if you do add water it would be about one to two teaspoons you're just gonna stir that up until it becomes like a thick bubbly looking consistency but make sure that it's thick if it's runny then you put too much liquid so don't do me i did also put this mask on my face okay we are managing our time well ladies okay ladies and gentlemen we are managing our time well so this frees up a lot of time because i also like to do the mask on my face and i usually do this on sundays you know my self-care days it's pretty self-explanatory you take the mask i take it with my hand i just dip it in there in the bowl that we had and i just rub it on my entire armpit and i will let this sit for 30 minutes then i'm gonna hop in the shower to rinse it off do keep in mind that some people said that this did clog their drain i didn't have a problem with that because the way that it comes off is kind of like in little bits but i understand everybody lives different places so just be aware of that if your drain clogs easily your best bet is to just take a warm cloth and wipe it off with some warm water before you get into the shower i hope y'all enjoyed that process like i said i did this for the month of july i did this mask about once or twice every week they recommend three times but like i said it's based on your body i would put the glycolic acid toner on my armpits before i apply my natural deodorant just to help with odor but i found that after a while it's not even necessary and i also take chlorophyll that helps with that odor as well be sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications all that good stuff that helps me help me help you and with all that being said stay blessed and stay sweet